and the best fit for me is Georgia. I just want to thank all y'all for being here today on uh, this special occasion. First of all, I just want to give thanks to God for allowing me to be here, for giving me, blessing me with this talent so I can use. And I want to thank my parents for always believing in me, always trusting in me. And I want to thank my pastors for always praying for me whenever I got down or just whenever I got weak. And I would like to thank my grandma for always feeding me. That's why I got so big. <laughs> and then I like to thank my coaches for putting so much hard work in it and all the time. And now I also want to thank my teammates for always being there for me. Whenever I got down, they didn't leave me. And I just want to thank them. So today, I just want to thank all y'all for being here and showing y'all love and support. I really appreciate it. And so, you see all the schools that I got lined up here. I have so many. I had 25 offers, and I narrowed it down. And I just prayed and asked God to show me which one is the best fit for me. And I asked my pastors to pray and let God show them which one is the best fit for me, too. And the best fit for me is Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I chose this is because I see myself, I like being close to home and being around family. It's far enough away for me to just be on my own and it's also far away for me just in case I want to come home and see all my family. And then I also love it because Coach Rick, how not only when I talk to him, it's not it's more it's more about foot it's not more about football. He talks to me about spiritual things in life, and that's one thing I like about him because he's a spiritual man, and that's what I I am myself. I put everything I do in God's hand because I know if I put it in my hands that it won't prosper. And so what I really like about him, he just, whenever I need, whenever I need to talk to somebody, I can always talk to him and he'll give me some tips on life in general and I just really enjoy that. And then I really like all the coaches, Coach Grantham, um, when he first arrived at Georgia, three days later he was at my high school and that really made an impression on me because him being one of the top defensive coordinators in the NFL, coming from the Cowboys, where Derek Ware had ended up with 20-something tackles, and I really and him flying out there, and on the third day coming to visit me, that really made a great impression on me, and I just really enjoyed that he really and that him and Georgia really are interested in me, and then I also looked at uh, the playing time. And what he was telling me is that they don't have that many people in uh, this position they need, so they recruit me for an uh, outside linebacker slash defense end where not only do I uh, keep my hand in the dirt, but I can also stand up and rush on the outside or drop back into coverage. And I'm really looking forward to uh, playing with him and playing with all my uh, Georgia teammates. I got a friend at Dalton. I'm talking to him. He's. I'm talking. I keep on talking to him constantly, trying to get him on board. And it seems like he he's going. He want to get on board, but he's just not sure. And if we get him on board, I believe that Georgia will have one of the top class in the nation. If we just recruit the players from in state, we'll have one of the top uh, classes in the nation. Um, it just seemed like the staff from last year, they, 
I, they, sometimes the coach would come out there, Coach Jensen would come out there, and then other times he wouldn't. But the staff this year, I like about them is that when they want something, they'll go get it. They are persistent about it. You mean when recruiting? Yeah, when recruiting, yes, sir. And that's what I like about it, because they don't stop when they uh, just, when somebody tell them, uh, you know, I'm looking at here, they'll be like, okay, but we still going to come after you because we see you as one of the top players in the state. And that's what I just like about them because they persistent about it. Okay, Dean Leggy and Sterling Bailey here in Gainesville. And first of all, congratulations. Tell me what it was like, though. I know I guess you made this decision some time ago. How did you come to the decision? Um, I come, like, at all the schools, I just looked at them and compared to what I was looking for. And then the ones I wasn't looking for, I just pushed them aside. And then I just came down to the uh, sits that I had. And then that's when I prayed about the ones that I, uh, I just was like, God, please show me where you want to go. Show you where, show me where you want me to be at and I'll be there. And I asked my pastors, like I said, to uh, pray and they prayed and then it, God laid Georgia on our hearts. I think Christian LeMay had somewhat of a similar experience, and probably Christian Conley too. Now, I don't know how well you know them. You said in, during your announcement that, that you and Christian uh, LeMay, it's getting confusion. You got a lot of Christian. Um, but how, how much did forging a relationship with Christian LeMay as well as guys like Christian Conley, how much does that matter for you? It matters a lot to me because when you can build that relationship with other players, and then you know that y'all, you and him got the similar things and y'all gonna end up going to the same school. And that's when you can just build on everything and start getting to know each other. And then that's when you know when you get down there, your, flinch, your friendship gonna take flight and everything's just gonna be okay. Okay, I want to talk about, just for a brief second, about Coach Grantham, his NFL experience, why that matters for you, and sort of the way they attacked you as it relates to recruiting. Now, we're not going to uh, talk about the past too much, but I think that George has been more aggressive, in my opinion. Uh, what, what, was, what has Coach Grantham been like saying? I mean, he's got the NFL pedigree, et cetera. What did he say as well to make you commit to Georgia? Well, when he just the impression he made on me every time I seen him, every time he came to visit me, he would just always help me and give me advice, and then we'll talk about other things. It's always a first impression that I, I really enjoyed with him. Did you? I mean, did you know a lot about Coach Rick in the last say two years? I mean, when you're in ninth grade, you don't have a body like you do right now. Probably don't play football like you do right now. What did you know of Georgia? and Mark Richt, et cetera, before now. What impression did they make before they actually started recruiting you? Um, before they was recruiting me, I, I liked them, but I didn't really see myself being at that school. Why? Like, just because, um, I don't know, just because I seen that everybody just, to me, like for me, I don't know why, just whenever I see a whole, like people liking one, team I just and go so against them. So Gainesville was populated with a lot of Georgia people. Yeah. So you were kind of eh. uh, yeah, I was and then but whenever Georgia was playing against a team that I didn't like I would root for them and then I get, as I rooted for them that's when it just started growing on me. I was like ah oh, well mm, maybe, maybe Georgia I'm liking Georgia now and then when I asked, my 10th grade year came, I started liking them more and more. And then my junior year came when I was visiting and then talked to the coaches and got that one-on-one -on -one time with Coach Grantham, Coach Rick. That's when it hit me like, wow, I'm really in love with Georgia. And then I was, that's when I just- It's hard to turn back when you fall in love. Yes, it is. Hard. Okay. Well, congratulations on today. I like your outfit. You look great. Congratulations on everything. We'll be seeing you soon. Thank All right. You. Thanks, man.